Thank you so much for joining me today. Roll out your yoga mat, have your yoga props close by, and find absolutely any comfortable seat. I encourage you to always skip something if it doesn't feel good on your body. And please don't push yourself past what feels good, especially when we're stretching. Starting off, let's find three deep breaths together, again, from absolutely any comfortable seat. You're welcome to even start off laying down with knees bent, soles of the feet on the floor if you wish. Bring hands down towards the legs. Soften the shoulders down away from your ears. Take a moment to get comfortable and softly close your eyes. Let go of the belly and the chest. And take a deep inhale through the nose, guiding the breath into the belly into the chest, part the lips and exhale through the mouth. Two more like that if it felt good. Inhale through the nose, guide the breath into the belly, into the chest, part the lips, exhale, let it all go. One more, inhale through the nose, send the breath into the belly, into the chest, part the lips, exhale, release. Come back to your natural breath, open the eyes. And from any comfortable seat, lengthen the spine again. Inhale, circle sweep hands up to the sky. Exhale, lower hands down to the heart and Anjali Mudra. Inhale, circle sweep the hands up. Exhale, lower hands down to the heart in prayer. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach the hands up to the sky. Exhale, lean over to the right, straighten out the top arm, look up to the sky. Let top palm faces down towards the earth. Connect with your breath. Only go as far as feels good on your hip, your knee, and your back. Inhale, rise up and gently hinge right over to the opposite side. Lengthen the side body and breathe into that gentle stretch. Connect with each inhale and exhale. Rise back up, swim the hands up, lower the hands down, bring the legs into a butterfly position, draw the soles of the feet together, slide the heels forward to create a slight diamond shape with the legs, lengthen the spine, inhale, circle, sweep the hands up, exhale, fold forward through center, keep the lower back straight, fold forward from the hips, not the waist, And you're more than welcome to lift the heart up higher if that's too much on your hips, knees, or lower back. Again, remember, never push yourself past what feels good. And just keep breathing into this nice, gentle hip opener. Remember, there's no competition in yoga. Press yourself back up and twist the heart over to the left. Lengthen the lower back, broaden through the collarbones, and relax the shoulders down really nice. Softly unwind and twist over to the opposite side. Unwind. Draw the feet in. 
And lift the left hand up, bring the left palm to the left shoulder blade, reach the right hand up, hold onto your elbow and gently lean over to the right side. Rise up, release the elbow, lift up the right hand, bring the right palm to the right shoulder blade, lift the left hand, grab hold of the opposite elbow and lean to the left. And keep breathing. Rise up, let go, swim the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers, lean the heart back, open through the shoulders, slightly drawing them back and in, pull the ribs in, drawing the navel in towards the spine, release, and extend the legs out straight in front of you, flex the feet, draw the toes up and back towards the shins, Place a slight bend in the knees. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands up. Exhale, fold forward through center. Folding from the hip creases, not the waist. Keep that lower back straight and melt the heart forward and down. If that's too much, especially on your lower back or your hamstrings, I want you to bend the knees quite a bit deeper. And if you have more to give, you're more than welcome to straighten the legs here. But make sure that that's not too intense. It's so important to find a stretch that feels good rather than pushing yourself. And then lean the heart back, draw the hands back, open through those collarbones, pressing the shoulders back only as far as feels good. Come to softly lay down on the back. Shavasana, final resting pose. Let go of each muscle in your body, softly close the eyes, and take a deep breath going at your own pace. Just completely relax and release here. Softly roll over onto one side, open the eyes. And then rise up into any comfortable seat. And finding any seat, go ahead and just take a moment to return back to your breath and your surroundings. Thank you so much for joining me today.